Celebrities claim to be the healthiest people on earth. So today we're gonna take a look at some of their diets and review them, give them a rating at the end. All right, first up, we're gonna take a look at Kylie Jenner's diet. The billionaire in the making, I'm gonna add up the calories and see how much she's eating as well. All right, starting off first, it looks like some sort of Greek yogurt with granola and some matcha tea. If I'm being honest, this looks like more like a granola bowl than an actual Greek yogurt bowl. I, if I squint hard enough, I could maybe see the Greek yogurt in there. The healthiest part about a Greek yogurt bowl is the Greek yogurt. It is filled with protein, extremely high in volume and pretty low in calories. But the problem is she sprinkled it with a ton of granola, which is extremely high in fat and calorie dense. Not that it's bad for you. It's just like very easy to overconsume. If you've ever had oatmeal cookies, it, oatmeal is not a really a health food at that point. All right, for her breakfast, I'm just going to guess around 500 calories. Then she has some coconut water, which is a great source of different electrolytes. For that, I'm going to guess 100 calories. Next for lunch, she's eating a salad. I see like pretty much only veggies and dressing here. Maybe if I look hard enough, I can see some protein. No, I don't, I don't even see any protein. For someone who's trying to build muscle or even just like be healthy in general, you kind of want protein evenly spread throughout the day. So if you have a lunch without protein, you can go like eight hours without eating protein, which is not optimal for muscle growth. You want it every four to five hours or so. One great thing about salads though, is they're extremely high in volume. So if you are trying to lose weight or on a diet, they can be a great option as long as you keep the calories and the dressing low. 90% of calories from salads come from the dressing. So ranch is extremely dense. So the veggies and salad maybe add up to like 100 calories, but the dressing can be four, five, 600. If you ever look at the salads from uh, Cheesecake Factory, they're like 1800 calories. That's not coming from broccoli, bro. It's, it's their it's their oiled up dressing they use. So I'm gonna guess 200 calories for her salad. Then for dinner, she has another incredibly low protein meal. This is pretty low volume as well. She's got half a fistful of pasta with some uh, asparagus and veggies. Unfortunately, this looks like it came from the kids menu. This would not fill me up in the slightest. So I'm gonna guess this meal being generous, like 400 calories or so. Then she finishes off the day by baking a couple cookies. These don't look that good at all, bro. This is the best her billionaire uh, wealth could come up with. These are, they're burnt, bro. If there were 180 calories a piece and she ate two of them, she ate 360 calories for the cookies. This brings my total to 1,560 calories for her full day of eating. I don't think that's enough to fuel her body. If she's on a diet, this may be okay, but still I would get in more protein and more healthy fats in the form of like red meat, salmon, avocado, nuts. Overall rating this diet, not enough protein, calories, or fat. <laughs> I'm going with a five out of 10. All right, next celebrity of the day, famous LSU gymnast, Livy Dunn. We're gonna take a look at her student athlete, what I eat in a day. She starts off with coffee, just like 95% of Americans. This can be a great option if you need a little pick me up, a little energy in the morning. The only thing is a lot of people ruin their coffee by making it into a milkshake by including a ton of calories and creamers and sugar. So if you want a low calorie option, look up this dude on Instagram. His name is like Macro Barista. He posts delicious coffee orders from Starbucks that are low calorie and can help you lose weight. She's not interested in losing weight though. She's more interested in fueling her body for a performance or not a performance, what's a gym, a uh, gymnast meet, a gym meet. Then she moves on to an acai bowl. Now if she's training after this, this can actually be a great option because this is filled with a bunch of simple carbohydrates that are easily digestible. But unfortunately, acai bowls are not really for weight loss. They're extremely calorie dense. One of these little things could be five, six, seven, 800 calories. They taste delicious, but unfortunately not low in calorie. If you want a lower calorie option, just stick to the fruit in general. And if you want it even sweeter, add some sweetener on top of it. Then she has some dino nuggets and an applesauce. This is fine too. Nothing drastic here, but one thing to know is that she is a gymnast. She is an elite athlete. So she burns a ton of calories throughout the day. So she has a lot more wiggle room to eat kind of like whatever she wants. I don't know if you guys ever remember the Michael Phelps diet. He said he ate 12,000 calories a day. That wasn't even true, but he did a ton of cardio throughout the day that he was pretty much able to eat pizza, pasta, burgers, and not gain any weight and still perform. Then she has more food throughout the dining hall. A lot of these meals are lacking in protein, but they are filled with a bunch of carbs, which will help her performance in the long run. Especially if she's training multiple hours throughout the day, she needs that fuel to get through it. Same thing goes for dinner. She has some ramen, again, just a bunch of carb heavy meals, and then some ice cream at the end of the day to finish off. Overall, I'm gonna give this diet a six and a half out of 10. Even as an elite athlete who has a ton of room to work with, I don't think she had enough protein in her diet. You want protein to repair your muscles properly, especially when you're training this hard. You want to perform at your absolute peak. I think she could benefit by upping it by at least 20, 30%. All right, and for our last celebrity, we're gonna look at Alex Earl. I'm, I'm kind of reaching the bottom of the barrel for celebrities. This is like Z-list, bro. More celebrities need to post their what I eat in a days. Also for this one, I'm gonna add up the calories, see how many it is for her too. She started off her breakfast with a two egg omelet and then some veggies. The two eggs themselves are about 150 calories. So I'm gonna go with 200 calories for the total omelet. Next, she has some chips and salsa for a little lunch snack. I'm gonna go with 250 calories for this. She didn't say how much she ate, so I'm just gonna guess two servings. Then she comes in with a Bloom Nutrition ad. If you didn't know, this is an advertisement for a greens powder. And greens 
powders do not replace greens. They're kind of just like an in-between between like not eating any greens and eating like only vegetables. It looks like she's eating a snack of a six pack of Trader Joe's dumplings. These things are delicious. That's about 250 calories as well. And then for her salad, she goes in with some shrimp for protein. She has a little bit of olive oil to it. Now for the total calories for the salad, I'm just gonna guess 350. There's really nothing in this salad besides a little bit of shrimp, some veggies and sriracha. Then she finishes off the day with some seaweed crisps. I don't know how many she ate, maybe 50 calories. Then a bag of Cheez-Its, which is 210 calories. Then she ate another serving of the regular chips, so 140 calories for those. So I'm gonna guess at the end of the day, she only ate 1,450 calories. This is nowhere near enough to fuel her whole body. As someone who's young and active, that is just way too low. She's definitely losing weight eating this low of calories. So overall, I'm gonna have to give this like a four and a half out of 10 diet. All right, so that's all for the celebrity diets. Uh, not as grand, not as cool, not as healthy as I would think. Not one of them fueled themselves adequately. Keep in mind too that these celebrities have all the money in the world for the most elaborate trainers, private chefs, and they still can't even eat enough or eat properly. This is crazy. All right, catch you next time.